So you probably wake up, look at your phone, and you just go straight to scroll on your social media feed, your TikToks, your Instagram Reels, Facebook, I don't know, whatever. Like You do this constantly. And you think to yourself, how can I be more productive? How can I be better, a better person? How can I have more success? How can I achieve those goals that I don't even know? And I'm, I'm going to tell you something. Um, it's really it's really simple. But the thing is, it requires a lot of discipline. Now, the thing is, a lot of people are not going to succeed. And that's normal. That's why most people stay in the middle uh, class. Okay, That's why there's a lot of people in the middle class. And that's what sustains society. Now, I'm going to explain to you how you can become a better man, a better person, a more productive person. And basically turn your life around. This will help you establish success in your future and give success to your family and everything. And this will help you really set apart from everybody. Now, you want to do more work. You want to be more productive. You Maybe you are in school. You are struggling, you know, getting some better grades. Or, you know, you want to, to launch a business and you don't really know how. Or you know how, but you don't really know how to put the, the, the effort in, you know, you feel stuck and you want to advance. This is a video for you then, because I'm, I'm going to explain you basic steps that you need to take in order to become a better person and also to achieve better, better results. So in this video, I will explain to you how I became more productive, how I became, uh, you know, the best of my class from like the, being like a complete, like zero in school or not like not a zero but like I, I hadn't like the grades I didn't, wasn't smart smart you know um, and uh, and so I became the best uh, of my school for like five years now so I'm studying aerospace engineering uh, here in France and um, so that's my, my passion and I'm going to explain to you how, how I became a really uh, basically a straight A student um, this is going to help a lot of people, I hope. So um, stick around to, to find the, the five steps. I'm going to also go give some bonus at the end for you to uh, achieve this, um, the, your goals uh, in a faster way. Now, I'm going to basically talk about five steps that you need to take now for a better future. And how to become more productive with those five steps. The so step one that I think is the most important one, or the second important one. I'm gonna talk about the, the most important one after, but the second most important step that you need to take is to eliminate yourself from social media. Now, I'm not going to say for you to like to block all of your accounts or eliminate them all, get out of social media, no. I'm just going to say to not distract you from your life. Social media distracts you from your life. It takes your life basically. Uh, what I'm talking about is basically it wastes your time and also your energy, okay? But like it's not even like if it was like if you could uh, re recover from it. You can't. You, you basically it's an addiction. It's, it's worse. I would say it's even worse than smoking, you know? It's really bad. And so how can you do this? I'm going to explain how I did it. Um, so I started basically knowing about quitting social media uh, when I went like through a, a really complex situation with some online businesses, you know, that weren't really going well. And so I became more, uh, you know, I didn't really want to uh, to go further. You know, I was stuck. And so that 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 must be you, you know, right now. You you feel kind, you find yourself like stuck in in some things that you think are really difficult. Because social media makes them really difficult because you see other people achieving success really quickly Which is not really the case, you know, it's just there's a lot of things going around those people and a lot of progress during like three to four to five years more and more, you know, it's just uh, I Think there's a lot of people that miscon that have this misconception that people show themselves as being really good in the background There's a lot of work going on and so people don't really understand this and I think that's crucial now, eliminating yourself from social media, I did it um, creating barriers. 
I will explain to you how I did it. So basically, I had, you know, all my social media apps on my phone. So I deleted them all. The thing is, apps, those mobile apps are made for you to increase your dopamine. And so dopamine is what makes you addicted. And so increase your addiction and make you more addicted to those things. The, those apps are really built for that. And so by eliminating the Google Chrome experience is not going to be the same as the app. And so it's much better for you to eliminate yourself from that. So eliminate all those apps that you have and, you know, forget them. Just not even think about them. They don't like the people that are in the social media don't really need you. There is not a really emergency. The world is not going to change if you just get out of there. So that's the thing. You don't really need the, them to be like in your life. Now, I know there are some creators out there. Now, for those creators, you need those apps. Instagram, for example, TikTok, if you do TikToks, okay. But you must have them blocked for feed content. Now, there's a lot of apps that block the content of your feed so that you, when, you, you, when you open the app, you don't see anything in the feed, but you can post things, but you can see them in your feed. And that's, the f that's, that's even better, I, I would say. Now, for the PC, it's the same. The same thing goes for the PC. There is two apps. Um, so there's News Eradicator that really completely eliminates the feed of all the things that you want. Even YouTube, uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, whatever, everything. Social media is going to destroy you mentally, physically, everything, even spiritually. I mean, there's so many things going wrong with society nowadays because of social media. And so you need to distract yourself from that. Everything, you know. Going to the second step, it's buy a notebook. You need to buy a notebook. In like, I mean, I have some my, my notes here. This, like, notebook, you know, you have all your life in here. You write everything in your book, notebook. And this will help you tremendously. I mean, the power of having a notebook is so huge and people underestimate it so much. Now, I know that there's Notion, there's Slack, there's, I mean, million apps, like, that you can use, uh, like, notes to do, ta like, tasks and all that stuff. That's all crap. That didn't work for me. Um, because the thing is, I was on my PC... And, you know, whenever I had a notification on, like, you email or, you know, whatever, I didn't have, like, the consistency of noting everything that I that I wanted. You know, all my ideas, you know, all my, the things that I wanted to create, they weren't really, I, wa I wasn't really putting them on the, on the PC, you know, on the Notion templates. And even on my phone, you know, it just it didn't really work. What I really understood is, like, whenever you take notes on Notion, on the PC or on your phone, you're just going to forget it. Like, you, you're literally going to forget what you wrote. And the thing is, in the notebook... Now, I started with another notebook. I started with this notebook, uh, which was... Uh, I did an internship, and they gave me this notebook. And it was pretty pretty much like the beginning of my, my journey to, uh, to journaling uh, and to, like, making everything on my notebook. Uh, like, planning my day, everything. And that's what you need to do. So buy a notebook and in your notebook, you're going to start, I'm going to say a couple of things. You need to start doing three things. Now, every day before you go to sleep, you're going to do a list of everything that you have to do the day after. Okay. You're going to structure your day like that. And you're going to think about those things really carefully. And even the tasks that you need to do, like the major things, like, I don't know, if you're building a website, you, you say like, you know, building the website, creating content, you know, um, for the website or uh, copywriting. I don't know, you, you need to, to do some landing pages. Uh, you, you're just going to copyright some things or, you know, I have some emails to, to send. I have some email marketing. I, I'm going to do that. So email marketing, you, you write everything, every test that you need to do. And so you're, go you're, you're going to write everything down and you're going to do this every day the day before going to bed. Now, even on, on weekends, that's really important because I'm going to talk in another video, but if you don't structure yourself having a routine to do something, an habit, you're going to be in a really bad scenario. 
And you need to have this consistency, this discipline of doing the same thing every day. Uh, everything, okay? I know that sometimes it sounds boring, but you need to do both, actually. You need to have a consistent things that you want to do every day and have some free time or things that you want to do for fun that you, you can't really do every day, but you know, you put them on your on your um, on your to-do list, you know, you just you know, you want to visit visit the city or you know, uh, travel somewhere, you put them down. You wrote, write them down because that's going to put your mind in another state, not like Notion. I recommend Notion if you want to automate Twitter uh, threads, for example, or um, automate things. I use that for that, you know, or programs that you want to stick to. Uh, for example, I, I for, for some time I learned uh, how to code, uh, you know, using C, Python, and um, uh, so C, Python, C++, uh, JavaScript, I learned all of that through uh, an application that, you know, an extension of Notion. And this is really helpful. I'm not going to say it's not helpful. It's really helpful. But the thing is, a notebook is way better for the beginning. You know, you have to start somewhere. Start with a notebook. Second thing is write five things that you are grateful for. I know that I know that, that sounds stupid, but that's really important. Now, if you are really ambitious, that's even more important for you because you have to be grateful for whatever you have right now because that's you know you have to imagine like there's a lot of people that don't have that can't even sleep i mean if you have a if you are watching this now you probably you are really lucky okay if you're watching this now you have internet you have a phone or a computer you have some place to sleep you have some place some place to you know work uh you have some place to eat you know you have everything that you need to survive basically and there's a lot of people that are really in a bad situation, you know, and um, you're just so grateful for the things that you have. And you have to understand this, that this will really shape your mind. The third thing is writing everything that you think about. You have an idea for a project, you write them down. And that's why I need for you to have this notebook every time with you. So you take the notebook out and you write. Every time you have an idea, you do it. And that's going to be huge because you're going to remember. First of all, you when you write, you remember better. Okay, you will remember better what you wrote. Wrote, and that's not the that's not the case with Notion. Notion is really like I think it's it's really good. But whenever you write something on the on the on your phone or PC, you're not going to really remember it. That's why I think it's really important to write it on a notebook. Third step. And the third step is huge, your goals, it's your, your objectives, you know. Um, but sometimes we misunderstand those goals. How do you define your goals? There's three things that you need to understand to define those goals. It needs to be time-based. You have to know how much time you're going to need to do that goal. Or a reference. The second, time, the second thing is quantity. You need to quantify the goal. Because if you don't really... If you don't know what you going what you want to reach, you're not going to reach anything. You're going just going to be a chip sailing on the huge ocean of things. You have to take a pen, take a notebook, and so you're going to say, "Okay, goals. What do I? What do you want to do? What do you want to achieve in five years or two years? Let's start with two years. You want to, like most people will say, well, you 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 want to lose weight. Well, that's your goal. Lose weight." No, that's not the right way to do it. Lose weight is not a goal. You have to define the three things that I've said. What you want to do is not lose weight, but lose an amount of weight. And the second thing, yeah, okay, you want to lose 10, 10 kilograms, but like in 20 years? No, no. In two years? Okay, that's that sounds nice. Because that's going to like really help you define a routine to to achieve that goal. Second thing, the third thing, sorry, it's a structure. You have to structure your goals. Now, how I think is the structure of your goals should have a process. For, for example, if you want to lose weight, you have to say, okay, I want to lose weight. What do I need to do every day for, you to, 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 uh, for, for me to achieve this goal? Well, you're going to do cardio and you're going to exercise daily for like 30 minutes and you're going to eat less than you you know 
probably eight. So that's the, that's the process that you need to take for you to achieve that goal, okay? Now, some, that's an, a basic scenario. What I think, what I see a lot of people do is whenever they have an online business, for example, and I did this mistakes too many times, uh, that's why I'm telling you, uh, you, you, you reach, like, you want to reach a, um, a number. And that's really uh, not the way to do it. I said in the beginning to have a quantity and you should aim for a quantity, even a, like an amount of money, yeah. But the process shouldn't be defined with this money. For example, I'm going to say an example. You want to have, uh, you know, we want to, you want to make a hundred k a year. Okay, that's a that's a huge step. Or start smaller. You want to reach ten k a year. If you are a teenager, if you want to work online, you can do it. It's really simple. Like there's there's so many things to do online to earn a lot of money. Like a lot. And so you shouldn't have to think really hard, you know, you have online internet, you have Google, you can search everything. You should do like, what do you need to work on that you think is going to be the thing that is going to, you know, help you achieve that goal. Now, for for example, if you take, you want to, to uh, you want to make 10, 10K a month, 10K a year, doing what? You, you need to have a vehicle, you know, to, to do it. And so, for example, e-commerce, e you want to do it with e-commerce. Well, in e-commerce, it's really important to test a lot of products. And by testing, you will find the winner. So, you know, if you test a lot, you'll find it quicker, right? And so to achieve that goal, you have to test more products quicker. That's what you're going to do. You're going to focus on, you know, testing a product a, a, a week. Okay, what do I need to do to test a product a week? Okay, I'm going to do like... A 30 product uh, research I'm going to put it in a template I'm going to filter them I'm going to choose five I'm going to choose five or whatever and you set those five for this month or whatever four to this month and you're going to say okay I have those those things they are done and now on Monday I'm going to start copywriting now it's, it doesn't need to be every product but you need to start on Monday copywriting and you do it for an amount of time so copywriting when that goal is finished, you go to the next step. What do I need to do after copywriting? Well, you need to design your website, your landing page. So you, you we're going to use copywriting to make a, uh, the, 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 like the, the structure of your landing page, okay? But also the marketing that you're going to use. You need to define those things, those three things. That, that's a lot of complicated, like with e-commerce, there's a lot of steps, but in every way, that's a lot, that's everything like that, you know? You want to do email marketing. Well, you need to copyright first. Copyright, have ideas. Make those, like, filter them. What is the market searching for? What does people like to learn about? You know, what do people like to learn about? And you're going to define those. And then you're going to do, like, copywriting. And then you're going to do all those steps that you need to do to eventually reach your goal. The quantity in a duration. And this can be done with a process. It's always like that. The same thing goes for school. Now, I became a straight-A student not by doing whatever everyone does, because everybody does the same things. Now, <laughs> a normal school uh, guy is going to be in class, take some notes, okay? I'm not going to talk about the high school, because high school, you know, you don't even need to take notes. But I'm going to, like... In the extreme scenario, university, imagine. So after, you're going to forget everything that you, you know, wrote in the notes because you, you, you were consuming like a lot of social media again. You shouldn't. And then you arrive home and you try to, you know, you have an exam that's coming. Uh, something, a project, or whatever. And you, you need to understand it better. And you're going to reread your, your notes. You're going to reread your notes. And that's just stupid. Uh, straight up stupid. Because you, you wrote the notes, you don't need to read, like, just stupid, you know, it's just, you're doing this, the, twice the same amount of, time of of work, you shouldn't do that, you should work, like, once, and it's done, and you go to the, to the next thing, I'm telling, I'm telling this, because a lot, I see a lot of people, like, doing, in engineering, especially, you have, you have your notes, okay, and so, you have to understand, that the teacher is not going to, it's not, he's not going to ask you, the problems that is going to be there on the exam, it's not going to be like, oh, 
like everything completely has is in your notes. It's not, it's stupid. What the fuck are you doing? Why do I th think that people do this is because they don't really take active notes. They take notes just to do something in class. What you should do is take the notes. Okay, <laughs> you take the notes. Great. But listen to the things that the, the, you know the teacher is saying you know you have to have this growth mindset of you know wanting to learn the thing not for the grades but like for your understanding of this thing that is going to help you maybe in the future or not i don't know who cares but like you have to do this if you want to achieve great success you you have to do this now the thing that you're going to do after for studying to for the exam it's not going to be re reading your notes that's stupid straight up stupid stupid if you do this you are completely garbage and you're never never going to be a straight a student because the thing is like they don't do this teachers aren't going to ask you the things that they put on their notes or they say they tell it to you or you know whatever the the powerpoints no they you are going to do exercises to see if you understood those. Now, how can you understand those? You go to the internet. The internet has everything. I'm gonna put a link, and it's basically the library genesis. There's every book that there is. Everything is there. If you whatever, ever whatever class you have the book there. In English, normally. If you want to make it in French or Portuguese, whatever, it's just going to be kind of difficult. But you, you sh by this time, you should you should know English. It's just not an excuse. You should know English. That's the, the language of the future. That's the language of the present. You should know it. Uh, that's not an excuse. And so, yeah, you're going to watch the things of this lecture. For example, you're in uh, fluid mechanics. For example, it's a great lecture, great, great, great course, fluid mechanics. You're going to have your book, you go through the internet, you search for things, you search for the theorems that you know, that you've seen in class, again, active thinking, you know, um, and you're going to through those books, through those things, and searching for exercises that they've done. The exercises are going to ma make you understand the notes. And have a structure in your head, you know. Maybe sometimes a teacher takes some exercises from them, from those books. If they, it's, if they are really well known, sometimes they take them, like, and they change them a bit, or, you know, and and you should use them. Now, I want a bit deep into that. Um, sorry, but what I wanted to say is you have to have a process. Now this process. It's not going to be easy. You you're going to fail a lot of times. That's part of it. I failed as well. I don't, I don't really know how to tell you that you should do this in this way because everyone's goals are different and you should like set them as you go, okay? But you have to have goals. Another thing is you have to define different time frames. I didn't really talk about this, but it should be, it should, should be normal for you. You have to have a two years time frame, a year, half a year, like six months and then two months, and then one month, and then weekly things that you need to do to achieve those goals, and then daily things. Those daily things are going to compound to a weekly thing. In the example of e-commerce, you're going to do every day, copywriting, marketing, whatever, huh? you're going to achieve this, this, like, this block of things in a week, because in this week you want to test a product. And you're going to do this repeatedly every week to achieve the big thing in the month, which is test for products. And so when you do this in a month, you want to do it every year, every six months. And you have a chunk of big things that you've done compounded over time. And that is really powerful. That is why habits are really important in your life. And you know, that's just how goals are. So goals, processes, and the third thing, it's a bonus, kind of. And not a lot of people tell you this. But you need to define an identity. Why? I'm going to tell you an example, really simple. It's really going to be uh, life-changing for you. You're going to make those goals. And whenever you are feeling that you don't really want to do them, you think of the identity of the, of the person that you want to become. If this person would say the same. For example, 
you want to lose weight and but you are craving for chocolate some 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 you know sugar you know or some you know some fat or whatever some rice you know whatever <laughs> i don't know you are craving for that but you know that the people that are the people that you want to become the person that you want to become isn't going to eat sugar because he's lean as fuck and so he's not going to be tempted to do that you know what i mean and so because this person sees himself as someone that doesn't eat sugar or doesn't eat anything bad for his health you know fast food or whatever he doesn't eat that you know he is he has this identity and because of that you're going to really be disciplined and that's that's what i think is discipline okay a lot of people talk to you about discipline you have to be disciplined you have to do these things and all that whatever it just doesn't work like that you know discipline you have for for you to have a discipline you have to become someone that you want to really become okay you have to have an identity that you want to pursue for example you are broke now but you want to be the richest man like of your family whatever and so if you want to do that what will a, like a rich man do in order to become it like not work on saturday i mean like everybody does what the fuck no you're going to work every day of the week you're going to arrive at home and then you were go- you're going to work on the things that you want to do to achieve the success that you want and so if you if you think about this every time you do something i know you will become really successful and really disciplined and turning turn your life around okay and that's that's for sure i know it it is new everybody can do it i mean everybody is the same everybody is the same i mean there's a lot of people that are like in really low places and can like achieve so much success and there's like people that are normal achieve so much success as well they are just normal people everybody is normal everybody is the same everybody can do it you know that I want really deep into step three, but now I'm going to talk about the step four, which is really quickly. It is that you need to take action daily, every time. And this is the most important step. Definitely is the most. Why do I tell you this? Because if you don't do the things, if you don't do the work, everything is going to be vanished. You don't, you aren't going to be successful. You aren't, you aren't going to be the, you know, the best student in your school or class or whatever, you're not going to do it because it's going to take a lot of things from you, a lot of actions, action constantly, daily, every time. You know, everything that you want to achieve is, I think, is an action step away from, from, from you. And sometimes the, those actions can seem really like a lot, you know, uh, really big for you to do. You are you know, overwhelmed by them and you feel stuck. That's why you need to, this structure that I've said, the goals, the processes, the, the identity that you want to become. Some bonus tips that I've mentioned in the beginning that I think like everything, everybody should do it. But I would say meditating and exercising are the most important things in your life. I will tell you, I, I will repeat it again. Meditating and exercising are the most important things in life. Why do I say this? Because if you have a really healthy mind, meditating will help you clarify your mind, relieve stress, anxiety, be in the present, know what whatever you want to do, what you need to do. Have your goals in your mind, not the crap stuff shit that you see on social media everything is going to be really nice for you your life will be amazing because when you meditate everything is better okay and this is proven scientifically if you want to if you want i, I will i will make the link for a, a really nice coursera course for uh well-being for your well-being and there is a lot of scientific stuff there you need to if you want to learn more about it, I'm going to put in the comment, like I'm going to put in the, in the section below and you're going to find it and you're going to know that what I'm saying is really true. Okay. And the second thing is exercising. Why do I say this? 
I mean, we talk about the mind. The thing that goes with the mind is the body. You know, your body, your health really goes with your mind. And so the body, I would say it's just to give you the energy that, that you're going to need to do the things that are really difficult for you. And you do, you need to accent, like, you need to really underline this principle of exercising and meditating in your daily life. Meditating, meditate 30 minutes a day, exercise 30 minutes a day. Make this a priority in your life and you're going to see results in the second week, third week. I don't know, but like, you're going to see those results. I guarantee to you. I think that's everything for this video. I mean, I, th I talked about a lot of things. Um... But I, I needed to, to say though, first thing, eliminate yourself from distractions, social media, delete everything, you know, become a monk. <laughs> no, but really, like, eliminate yourself from social media, that's going to be really helpful for you. Step two, buy a notebook, write everything down, track everything your day, write the day before, write everything that you need to do the day after. Third thing, set your goals, then processes with your identity in your mind, okay? Goals processes and then with your identity in mind you're going to be more disciplined to achieve those goals it's really important fourth step is take action taking action is the most important thing and the, th the fourth thing go with a bonus because uh, me meditating and exercising are going to help you making more progress taking more action because you're going to have two habits that are going to increase